Hi, I'm Airman First Class Rose Valby with the United States Air Force Band of the West, and I'm going to take you through a short warm-up and fundamental session. These are exercises I do to maintain and grow my own playing and would be appropriate for an advanced middle schooler or high school student. Please grab your instrument, tuner, and a metronome and join me. The first exercise we're going to do is half-step buzzing. This exercise is just a really great first stretch of the day. With this, we want to have easy, straight, centered sound, and we're listening for nice, gooey, connected slurs. We're going to do a two-beat inhale with this exercise, with a lot of our exercises today as well. We're going to have our metronome at 76. With our next exercise, we're going to do some expanding intervals, and these are just our first beautiful notes of the day on the horn. We're going to listen for straight centered sounds and smooth slurs, and also have your tuner on to look that you're staying uh, close to the green on your tuner while you're playing. Next, we're going to switch to doing just one beat breathing.
next exercise we're going to do is a five note flexibility slur. And this is just a great exercise to get us moving throughout our range a bit more. We're going to start on our C and go down chromatically in the harmonic series. And then we'll start on C again and go up chromatically in the harmonic series. With this exercise, we want to think about pointing our air down as we ascend up. The next exercise we're going to do is a three note slur that's really great for starting to expand our high range. With this one, it only expands a third at a time, so it gives us a really nice little short range of motion. With this, we wanna think about keeping our jaw really still, our corners nice and firm, and our lower lip flat and firm. Our next exercise is really similar to the one that we just did, except we're expanding it by two notes in the harmonic series and switching to eighth notes. The next exercise we're going to do is a triplet slur, and this is a really fun exercise for working on flexibility. It's also a great exercise for after playing high, and this one works on getting down into an area of our range where we might have a little bit of a shift as we go into our lower range. It's okay to have a shift. Everyone's is usually in a slightly different spot. Mine is around a low C, so you'll start to adjust my embouchure as I go down lower.
The next exercise we're going to do is a single tongue articulation exercise. With this, we want to listen for really clear, pointy sounds. And we're going to do this on a G today, but it's great to do in all ranges. The next exercise we're going to do is scales and thirds. With this, you already need to have command of your key signatures, but this will help us to make it even better. With this exercise, it helps us to align our tongue and fingers, and we're going to do it at a pretty loud dynamic. You can listen to have a little bit of edge on the sound if you'd like. The next exercise we're going to do is a loud chromatic high eighth note exercise that helps us develop and maintain our high range. For me, I like to play loud in my high range to help maintain it. When we do this exercise, we're going to start 
at a comfortable range. So I'm going to start at F on top of the staff and just go up chromatically three notes at a time. The thing we really want to pay attention to with this exercise is feeling really loose and relaxed in our body and especially our inhale as we play this. Our inhale should set us back to neutral every time. The next exercise we're going to do is a low flexibility slur, and this is great after doing something in the high range. With this exercise, we're going to get back into that range where we might have shifts in our lower playing, and that is totally okay. This is a great exercise for working on getting in and out of those shifts. Thanks for warming up with me. This is just one way to do it, and there's so much we can do to expand this. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and feel free to leave us a message below or request a PDF of the exercises we just did. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.